Hi, this is Deadline, and you're watching Cities In <gasps> on YouTube. What you're looking at is a master built smoker, and the control panel is broken. A quick visual inspection reveals that there is a lot of corrosion on the little circuit board there. We're probably not going to be able to fix this. And I looked online, could not find the controller to purchase. Well, this is not good. And it only leads to the inevitable. When we, whenever we have a broken piece of electronic or a problem of any kind here at City's Inn, we pull out the big guns. The Commodore 64. What do you need in order to run a smoker program? You need temperature. You need a way to turn on and off a heating element and a program. Well, those are the three things that are needed. We've already got the relay board hooked up through the user port, so that's no problem. We just need to get a way to get the temperature in doing a Google search revealed that Nostalgia Nerd has already covered this topic and it is a great resource so you should go over to Nostalgia Nerd and subscribe and like and all that stuff because this guy is on point he found this old experiments book from the 1980s and he's made temperature sensors and we're going to use that method to create our own temperature sensors. The first thing that we're doing is building the cable and it is pretty much just a one mega ohm resistor placed across pin seven and nine of a joystick. And then the other two leads are attached to that. Those leads are gonna go to the temperature sensor. <laughs> Well, those temperature probes sure don't work, so we're going to have to use something else. So we're going to try 3D printer thermistors. All of this will be linked in the description below. While we're waiting on the 3D printer thermistors to come in, why don't we go ahead and build our heating element relay cable. So when I was researching this information on the smoker, I found that pins one is the ground and pin four is the actual heating element relay. And that's exactly what it's hooked up to is a, is a three volt uh, circuit that turns on a, a three volt relay somewhere down in the belly of the smoker. And so all we gotta do is connect the ground and the heating element to our relay board and we are in business. Radical! Well, that heat element relay didn't take very long. I guess we'll write the program now that we need just gonna put a little montage here of the writing of the program. Enjoy. So I just want to point out also that everything that we do on our channel and elsewhere is available on our GitHub webpage. All the programs that you see that we write for any of our video projects are included for free. So why not visit our GitHub and download all the programs? And so, after many painstaking hours of writing computer code, we have the Smokador 64 program for the Commodore 64. Let me show you its features. It has a main menu with 
various settings already built in. You can hit one, two, three, four, or five, and it will run those programs. Uh, if you hit F1, it'll turn the light on and off, and you can also turn the light on and off while it's running. Um, there's a F7 turns off the heat off, just as an emergency measure, and C is custom, where you can enter the time and temperature that you want to cook in a custom fashion. So now, back to the thermistors. We got some 3D printer thermistors, and we're going to try and see if they work. A uh, link will be in the description of which thermistors we purchased. And this method will work with Nostalgia Nerds um, method from that experiment book. So you can use it for other things. So at this point we've already built everything else. Um, it's just a matter of plugging it into the harness. A little duct tape to make sure that the sensor stays inside of the door when it's closed. And we have success. You can see the temperature rising, and once it hits 180 degrees on the program, the heat element turns off. Now all we gotta do is hook this thing up and smoke some meat. You are going to speak what we're? <coughs> oh my god! Why I never? <coughs> Alright, so what are we gonna smoke first? Anybody? And the initial chicken run smoke test has been completed and it is a go. We're really excited about the chicken coming out well, but now we're gonna make some ribs. But in order to do this, we're gonna make our own rub. And we're getting our rub recipe from amazingribs.com. It's called Meathead's Memphis Rub. So what you'll need is three quarter cup dark brown sugar, three quarter cup white sugar, half a cup of ground paprika, half cup garlic powder, two tablespoons of ginger powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of rosemary powder, two tablespoons of ground black pepper and then we shake it up now didn't have rosemary powder so we just use ground rosemary should still be okay just gonna give these ribs a good rub down with this Memphis rub
And that is how you make smoked meat with the Commodore 64 and the Smokador 64. The Smokador 64 program for the Commodore 64 is available on our GitHub website. So go ahead and grab it, download it. Feel free to make your own Smokador 64. Let us know how it turns out in the comments below. Hey, if you want to like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. What zany hijinks will we get up to next? Find out on the next edition of Cities In on YouTube.